this is fine. Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Mario & Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we scaled up a mountain that was very, very cranky the entire stinking time. Hopefully that'll be a thing of the past. Well, we're in the past, so hopefully it'll be a thing of the past past, as opposed to the future's future. And we will have a happy, happy time as we enter this mysterious building and talk to a certain someone who I'm sure we have no idea who it could possibly be. Uh, hello? It's a closed door. That's a bit awkward. Well, way to ruin the tension. I see you have a wind mechanism to open your door, and ever so conveniently, we have the power of wind on our side. Now we can go inside and see this mysterious figure who we have no idea who could possibly be. I'm sure there's no any sort of connection to anyone that we actually know. Yowser! I just met her. Oh, criminy, I have guess. I was so caught up in my research, I didn't notice you. The name's Elvin Gad. I'm studying the thwomps and history of this here mountain. How'd you all... How'd all these stony fellers get here, and why are they so darn angry about everything? That ancient mystery is the only thing that gets my brain all, uh, percolating. Anywho, I'm studying the dirt and rocks and the everything else about this fine peak. I'm a bit slim on snacks and amenities, but feel free to stay as long as you'd like, okay, boys? What's going on, you fellers? So riled, you're shaking. You're, they're shaking the darn floor. The volcanoes erupted. Hey, <laughs> right? Yeah! I didn't even see what that said. Erupted? Did you say erupted? What? It just blew its top a few moments ago? Why didn't you say so? What were you waiting for? Not the TV! We're under fire, boys! Literally, all my experiment results are gonna be destroyed! Oh, criminy, that, that fiery thwomp is gonna explode! We gotta put that thing out before my whole place goes up! So, what we gotta do is spin this thing around, get us some water, and just let it fill up the entire lab. Now, we gotta do what the babies do. Oh yeah, eat all that water. Uh, hello? Yeah, there you go. One, two, three. Do I need to like hold excessively up on the thing to get more and more water? Okay. I didn't know that was a thing, but apparently it is. Okay, nine drops. Let's go. Very slowly. Uh, is it just... This one we have to get rid of? I think it is, actually. Uh, and ever so conveniently, it takes exactly nine drops. So I wasn't wasting time by filling it up entirely. Hooray! Wait! Water! Water goes splash! Splashing douses fire! Something... I feel something per percolating in my brain! Yowser, my memories. Why, the memories of my youth have been... They've been rearranged. Wh what's this now? Can it be? That's it! <laughs> this game's on the DS! Thanks for playing fireman, fellas, but it looks like this lab's done for. Don't you sweat it, though. I hear there's an affordable lab at the edge of the Boo Woods. I think I'll relocate there for a time. I have a hankering to do some paranormal research. 
Now listen, boys, it's dangerous for all of you to stay here. I have an inkling I'll be seeing you again soon, though. Bye! Mario, I'm receiving a message from the future Professor E. Gad. Can you hear me, fellas? I've just completed the most marvelous invention. Yep, this incredible machine will put a stop to any volcanic eruption, no matter how great. How convenient! The inspiration just came out of nowhere, as all great ones do. I call it the Hydro Gush 4000! As the name should tell you, it has a horsepower to spare. You're dying to see it, huh? Okay, I'll send you a little sample flood through the time hole. Hang on, fellers! Should have spelled it sample F L U D D. If you just tap here. Oh wow, I'm surprised they didn't actually make me tap on the DS to remind me that I'm playing on a DS because this game's on the DS because they like talking about the DS or incorporating the fact that it's on the DS every five seconds. Convenience! Sure is great to be the hero where everything works out for us A-OK -okay on the first try, no problem. <laughs> then a cloud comes by and just blows the smoke away. Heh, awe-inspiring, wasn't it? Well, show and tell's over. I just wanted to show off. Talk to you fellas later. You know, he wasn't aware of the fact that there was, like, a volcano erupting. He could have just, like, splashed that entire water, like, through, I don't know, a fire village where they like fire and then water hurts them or something. I don't know. The paradoxicated implications are really profound, but at least we can enter the crater. And yeah, it's really cool that this is the moment where Egad decides to go to that lab in Luigi's Mansion. That's sort of where he gets set up and he meets Luigi for the first time. But he meets him here, but has no recollection of him or Mario um, later on in life. And also, it's never really clarified that it's the Boo Woods in that game. I think it was just like, was it just like... Uh, he built the lab there, and then the ghosts appeared later on after he kidnapped their leader and turned them into a painting. Oh, wait, no, he didn't kidnap any of the booze, did they? I don't think he did, did he? He didn't capture booze, he only captured the gallery ghosts, and then Kimbu let all them out. He captured Bulasis, and then that's what made Kimbu angry, and then let him to create the mansion and everything like that. So, there are some errors in that, uh, story, so, uh... Time travel experts may be able to clarify it a bit more for me or for all of you if you're interested, but there are some faults in it, but it's kind of cool that they reference the fact that uh, Luigi's Mansion is a game that exists, and it's amazing, and you should all play it because it is one of the best games in the universe. But now that that's taken care of, we can finally enter the volcano where Peach is presumably located, though I don't think she's all that alive at this point, considering how long that volcano was erupting. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. She's survived harsher elements in the past. Maybe, possibly, I don't know actually at this point if she has or not, but it's still worth a shot. Oh, sweetie, cheer up. Cheer gone, no more cheer. Don't be like that, Thorpeen. There's still some fire left. Jump on in there. Hey. It was you, Imps, wasn't it? You're the ones who doused the volcano with all that water. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, look at you. You're obviously all plumbers. Thanks to your meddling, my hubby's in a stone funk. Jumping into that volcano was his hobby, you terrible men. We've been waiting for the annual eruption all year. Volcano with no fire. Not volcano. Just mountain. That's deep. Are you hearing this? This is all your fault, so give, give us back our fun! You gotta help, speak up! You're not, are you, you bugs? Then I'll treat you like bugs! Now you go, Squish! We got a mid-boss against Mrs. Thwomp, a very, very hilarious name, but actually a really difficult boss fight. So let's start things off with a copy flower, because they, they make everything easier. Now just see how crazy this thing gets when you use it on just a singular enemy.
Uh, it, don't tell me I killed her already. Okay, you cut me off because she broke into a bunch of little pieces. Now, as you can see, they all look slightly different. Uh, this one has a chip in her head. This one has uh, spiky teeth. This one has some missing teeth. And then this one is the normal one. So that is the real one that we need to go after. So we will use a, another copy flower specifically on this one. And just attack the real one. Hey, 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 why, why, hey, yeah! I don't really know what to say during these parts because I like to focus and I don't want to commentate. But if I attempt it, either messes up or it sounds like rubbish. Or both! 228 again. Uh, they raise their eyebrows showing you which character they're gonna attack. Looks like they're all attacking Mario. Uh, okay, Mario, 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 Mario. Yeah, his two middle names are also Mario. There's so many Marios because he's so self absorbed. Uh, I guess let's try the. Should we try trampoline? I mean, there's so many fake ones, so it's, like, not really a point to it, but, I don't know, maybe we can just get rid of them. Not sure how much HP they have, but I guess we're about to find out! Just keep on landing, keep on landing, keep on, keep on, keep on landing. I remember I was stuck in this fight for a million stinking years back in the dizzy day. There are a lot of fights like that, now that I think about it, but... Hopefully, this is not going to be another one of them, or it will be a repeat of the days of yesteryear. Just keep on bouncing, keep on bouncing, keep on bouncing, keep on bouncing. Oh my god, I can keep up the commenter. Oh, that's really awkward. Is she already dead? Wow, that was sad. I really gotta limit myself in the future on these bro items. Or I could just not care and be like, wow, I'm the best at this game. This game is easy. Why is it like the one thing where I actually get through things something super quick? It's the sinking boss fights where I like... Going through all the other areas just takes forever, but then the boss fights are just like, oh, it goes by in a second before you can even talk about it. Uh, stash is looking really good. Plus four. Luigi level 21 as well. Get all that experience. Uh, hmm. Let's go. Speed is looking really nice. Plus six. Swampy Pie, they beat me. Stupid man! Tree Lady's nice! Oh, honey, Thwomp, you're out of your funk. A bee, but a bee, but a oh, you save Pretty Lady? Oh, yeah. You jump into a volcano to save Pretty Lady? You yawn, and not too bright. Bright noses, but dumb heads. Still, saving pretty lady is important job. You, you guys are really going in? We go into mountain, not volcano, but okay. You four jump on me. Oh, how exciting, Oh, Take me with you too, Sugar Thwomp! You... too heavy. EXCUSE ME, HOW DARE YOU! <laughs> oh my god. JERK! Today's life lesson is brought to you by Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Ooh, she's scary. I pay for that. Now you know why you treat ladies nice. Pretty lady you look for in this place? She's stolen? <laughs> Meanwhile, thousands of feet below the surface. Whoa ha ha! This place is a pit! It's hot, stinky, dangerous, and one humongous fire hazard! I love it! Talk about a perfect place for me to build a second castle!
This place is so nasty! Boiling hot, reeking, and just made for trouble! Talk about awesome! This is the exact place to build my second castle! Hey, hey you there. there! Take this off, place Ramps! This place is mine! Twerp. Grr, you look familiar. Yeah, you look just like bigger, fatter me. You copycat. You're the copycat. You can walk like me and talk like me, but you ain't me. You're just a shrimpy brat. We're one rude dude, Tubby. Who raised you, chain chomps? Me? You're the one with the bad attitude, Goomba Breath. You'll never amount to nothing. It's like they're made for each other. Mm, very long story, but understood. Big Bowser is in bottom of volcano. Okay, you hurry and rescue pretty lady. When you want up, you tell me up. My wife angry, but I go back anyway. So, we got a ways to travel. This is the second half of this chapter, I suppose you could call it. And the relationship between Bowser and his baby self, Baby Bowser, it's another reason why I really sick and hate Bowser Jr. Because Bowser would never act that way with his actual son. It's just like, a lot of people love the dad personality for Bowser, but like, yeah, it's funny and everything, but I like it when Bowser is sick and terrifying and evil and stuff. And you don't get that when he's sick and... A like, I like funny Bowser, but I don't like dad funny Bowser. I don't know why, just because Bowser Jr. is a super unfunny and dumb character, and I don't like anything about him, but having him team up with his baby self, where they uh, don't have any connection to each other, they don't think they have a relation to each other, so they're okay with being mean to one another, or like he threatens the younger Bowser because he's not like his son, he doesn't care about him. And the same thing with Koba Kid, how they aren't actually his son, so... He uh, treats them like a lot harsher and they are like sort of afraid of him, but also the Koba kid, because uh, Bowser isn't his actual dad, he uh, he sort of looks up to him, but he's also easy to snap back at him when he's angry or something like that. So that's why I just really sing and hate Bowser Jr. and the Koopa Lanes, and I prefer uh, Bowser so much more, or Bow just baby Bowser or Koba kid so much more to them. Uh, was there a, a extra thingy up here? What does it say? As the spark gone down of your baby spinning, <laughs> use this twister to put some extra oof in your jump. Press left. Right. Yeah, okay, so basically there are a bajillion trillion coins you can get on the way down here. This area has like a lot of mini games to it, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be going doing a lot of backtracking to get them all, but uh, let's go ahead and get this. And get a little piggyback. But yeah, there's a lot of mini games to it. If you want to like uh, grind on coins and also beans, then this is a very good place to do it. Hello! Oh, hey, this one's doing the thing that I was talking about before. It could turn into a mech of sorts, a Thwack Totem. So it is just a more powerful version of the Thwack, basically. Or not, nah, it could just die as a single enemy. Okay, cool. Don't even get to see what it does. We just got to see its cool design. Jump back up. And we also saw one more new enemy over here, which is... If I can land on him. It is... Sort of a... Wait, what? Oh, okay. Bye, guys. It's sort of a repeat enemy of what we saw back in... I think it was called Toadwood Forest. But as you can see, they run away very, very quickly. They also have very single high defense because... Wow, okay. At least one of them stayed behind. Uh, it is a gold Koopleon. They give you a lot of stinking money if you beat them. That's why they keep on running away. So I'll use a trampoline and see if I can just uh, combo up some hits on it and see if I can take it out. And see how much money we actually get from one of them. And there you go. Okay, probably not uh, trampoline worthy, but we just need to get a couple more attacks in. Uh, 84 experience, 100 coins for a single one. So... If you need to grind up on coins for whatever reason, this is the place to do it, I guess. But why would you ever need to grind up on coins in this game? Okay, got rid of all of them on the screen. Get ourselves a bean. And head on up here. We have gone to this hole. I believe, yeah, we already went to that one. I remember my holes, sort of, sometimes. Uh, and here we got... Oh, hey, it isn't a 100 coin uh, block for once. Hooray! 
they're giving us somewhat of a different variety of things, I guess. Uh, just hit this one and it contains a regular coin block. Okay, now it's exciting. Uh, nothing else over here, it seems, so we can just go on to the right. I almost said left, but I caught myself right the last second. Uh, there's an arrow pointing down that way. There is an opportunity for Bros Balls. Uh, let's see, can't throw them in there, so I guess we're just gonna have to jump in here. Uh, nothing of interest right now, but hello! Whoa, oh, welcome. This Thwop Bros minigame arcade! What? What do you mean? You think I alone? Thrawn, little brother just up ahead! <clears throat> you keep going, you a drip. You play one game, then you move on! This is your first time, so you play for free! We okay, three rules. These rules. You see cannon, put ball in there. Any ball okay. When ball is inside, it's switch on right. Okay, uh, we put the ball in. And hit the cannon. Both fly way up. You roll it around. Gems everywhere. Oh, collect all you can. More gems means more better for you. After you get gems, seal into hole. I tell you more once you're in hole. So you gotta collect some gems. We are the crystal gems. We missed one right away. But I made up for it, cause I got two right next to each other. We'll spin, go spin now. You hit switch in middle to stop wheel. All three pictures match, you win big prize, it's real good. You got six gems, so you get six spins. Okay, let's see what we can get. Uh, okay, it's like that, eh? Not mean to do that, god darn it. You bad, one coin, bye! <laughs> Just says you bad one coin. Now we get five more spins though. Spin five more times. Spin! Uh, just hit right before. Okay. Mushroom flower star. Okay. Pretty easy to master. Mushroom flower star. Three stars! Thwack pot! Three stars make one bean! That bean valuable. Don't know why, but it valuable. So, if you need to grind up on beans for all of Waffle's badges, this is where you're gonna wanna do it. Spin again. Let's see what three flowers gets us this time. Uh, mushroom flower. Okay. And there we go. Three flowers gets you uh, 50 coins. Okay. And three more times. What does three mushrooms get us? I don't know why I was joining in the reverse order, but whatever. Uh, do that. Do that. And do that. God darn it. Balls. You bad one coin. Okay. Pew! At least we get something. A participation award. Uh, get that. Get that. And get that. There we go. Black pot. Three mushrooms makes 20 coins. Uh, spend more time. Let's get one more bean, I guess. Because we're definitely not going to need more coins in the future. So, I guess we could do with some extra beans. And there you go. There you go. And now it costs 100 coins per game, so I guess that's why. Uh, not the help and play? No. Uh, let's go ahead and say nope. So, this costs some money to play, unfortunately, but not exactly difficult to afford it. Uh, if you want to just play this game forever and ever and get a bunch of beans, then that's what you could do with your life, but I am not all about that lifestyle of buying a bajillion beans and whatever. So, I'm just going to go on with the adventure. Uh, speaking, of, speaking of going with the adventure or back to adventure, like, I always get thrown off whenever Stuffwell appears. I kind of forget that he even travels with us because he's not really annoying or anything. Like, he has, like, some funny lines at the beginning of the game, despite how tutorial heavy he is. But at the same time, like, he just sort of disappears from the game afterwards because he just doesn't show up ever again. Uh, do not want to jump on this enemy because he's on fire. It is a blazing shroom. So, obviously, you cannot jump on it, so instead you're going to have to use your hammer. And we don't even get to see what it does. Uh, 
Uh, let's throw the babies in here. Gonna land on another enemy. Oh, hey, we almost did. Uh, gonna see that black totem once again. Once again! Let's fail them extra command just so I can make an attempt at seeing what they can do. What can you do, guys? What are you all about? You're about being slow, apparently. I'm trying to give you a chance, but no. Uh, okay. 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 Didn't actually do any damage to them, though. And they just come on back around. Back around. Back around. Uh, anything else for us before you go? Uh, you got one more thing for us. Hello! Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Uh, okay. Okay. So you have a shockwave that hits us at different times depending on which one is below or above. Sounds cool. And we got a super drop on top of that. Very, very nice. And jump up over here. Ba -doo. Ba -doo. Ba -doo. Uh, hit this. Hit this. Hit this. Copy flower five. Uh, do not have anything up there. Oh, yep. We have one more thing. Just one more thing with Steve Harvey. Uh, we got ice flower. Not ice flower. We, well, we did get ice flower. I'm just on a stinking delay right now. I don't stinking know. Why am I recording so many stinking episodes while I'm sick? I don't know. I really shouldn't, but for the sake of nothing, really, I really shouldn't be stressing myself out this much, but I don't know. It's just like it kept up this far, so I should keep up with it, I guess. I don't know. I was planning on recording three more LPs for this winter break, but. Part of me kind of wants to just not do that because, like, I shouldn't stress myself too much over that. I shouldn't, like, force content to get made because that sort of happened with year six and, like, I wasn't super jazzed with a lot of the final products. So maybe I should just go at a pace that is comfortable to me. But at the same time, if I don't do super ahead in advance like this, then stuff doesn't get done. My main concern is that, um... A lot of Sting and Let's Plays coming up soon are voice acted LPs. I think this one's gonna be a voice acted LP as well. Um, and the Let's Plays coming up that are gonna be voice acted, they are some of the most voice actor heavy LPs I've ever attempted. So it is going to be quite the journey, I guess, to get that edited and just get the Sting and cast together. So that's my main reason why for this year I'm trying to record super far in advance because. There's going to be a lot of stinking work done on the editing side of things, just also waiting for people to get stuff over to me. Oh, hey, stuff. I was just talking about you. The symbol. It seems very familiar. I would advise you all stand over here. We know how it works. It's a very useless tutorial. But what we're going to want to do first is head over here and head in this pipe. As you can see, it creates a shortcut back to the top. Now that's taken care of, we could go back down here. And I guess we're going to end the episode off. What was I even talking about? Uh, I'll just finish my uh, sentence real quick and then I'll end the episode off. But what I was just saying is that this year is going to be very, very voice actor heavy. So that's why I'm recording like a bajillion sticking episodes in advance. And uh, even though I really should be taking breaks, I should like be spacing things out more. They, I really think this is the only way that things are going to get done. Even though I'm like six months in advance of recording stuff, I'm just really concerned about it all because I'm. It's all a matter of getting lines for voice actors now once everything's finished. Thwomp, four aboard! We go down! Whee! Of course, an elevator I should have deduced. I wonder, do you think this is as far down as it goes? This is as far as you go! Womp, blocking blocks, block path! We go nowhere! We may have to remove the blocks in order to de-elevate. Or we could just like, you know, jump, but no, of course you can't. Okay, we're gonna solve this conundrum in the next episode. Next time on Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, we're gonna continue our descent downwards into the volcano. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. Thank you.